Uh, hello friends so welcome to the class again so today in this class we are going to learn about the topic abscission so the abscission the term abscission is means abscission is the shedding of various parts of an organism so the shedding of the dead parts or the ripe fruits from the plant is known as the abscission process so the examples are uh, the plant dropping a leaf or a fruit or a flower or a seed so this is known as abscission and in abscission there is a remarkable ability to discard plant to discard the parts or the organs that may be remade later if the leaf discard it may be remade it may form again and when the uh, fruit discard it may uh, form again so it is also known as the natural detachment of the plant parts so the natural detachment so examples uh, in leaves in fruits in anther and floral worlds after fertilization and in the bark so in different uh, fields the abscission means uh, uh, first in botany in botany the abscission means the removal or the shedding of the senescent plant part so what do you mean by this senescent plant part senescent plant part means that plant part which is old in age so it may be a old leaf or a ripe fruit so the shedding of that senescent plant part is known as abscission in case of botany instead of plant part the shedding of organs the shedding of animal organs like tail from the body of an organism is known as uh, abscission in zoology and in case of mycology you know in mycology is the study of fungi so in fungi there are spores so the detachment or the separation of the fungal spores from the fungal hyphae this process uh, this process occur due to abscission and in cell biology during the cell division the process of cytokinesis so we can say that this cytokinesis occur uh, by the process of abscission so then we will discuss the mechanism of abscission in the plants so the abscission program uh, consists of highly programmed series of events so there are uh, three events the first is mobilization means the movement and the second is formation of cork the abscission zone is formed in this zone and third is detachment then this is the last step so we'll discuss this one by one so first is the mobilization the term mobilization means the movement the movement of some compounds so the compounds like proteins chlorophyll starch dna so all these compounds from the from that plant part which has to which in which abscission has to occur all these compounds are moved back to the main plant body so this is an example of leaf so abscission has to occur in this leaf so before abscission all the proteins dna starch and other compounds will move to the main plant body so after this uh, this leaf is uh, ready for abscission so this is mobilization mobilization means the uh, the movement of compounds from the this tissue to the main plant body so after mobilization the second step is the cork formation and in this cork formation the abscission zone forms so what is the abscission zone abscission uh, there is a there is a uh, layer of cells which is known as separation layer and this is also known as abscission layer and it it consists of thin walled parenchymatous cells which is represented by this layer and there are two more layers that are developed the one is the upper protective layer and the other is the lower protective layer so these protective layers are made up of parenchymatous cells and they are thick walled cells and uh, these two cells inject suberin and lignin into the walls so this abscission layer helps in the deposition of suberin in the deposition of this suberin and lignin into the walls or the protective cork so these three layers this layer, these three layers form the cork so this formation of these three layers is known as the cork formation and this is the second step so after the second step after the cork formation the last step is the detachment Detach detachment means 
the plant part has to remove or detach from the plant so the abscission zone form the abscission zone the abscission zone zone consists of the abscission layer and the protective layer these two combine to form the abscission zone and the thickness of abscission zone is generally 50 micrometer so what happen in the abscission zone the layers of parenchymatous cells secrete cell wall enzymes so these layers secrete some cell wall and cell wall enzymes and uh, generally they, these enzymes are cell wall digesting enzymes also known as self digest these enzymes like gluconases and pectinases the gluconases will digest the glucose compounds and the pectinases will digest the protein compounds in the abscission zone and after this self digestion the plant part gets detached from the plant and uh, this is the picture in which uh, this is the abscission uh, zone from uh, where the plant plant is uh, the plant part is removed so this is the case of the mechanism of abscission uh, beside these there is also uh, the concept of role of hormones in the abscission process so there are two hormones the one is the auxin and the other is the ethylene so these two hormones play important role in the regulation of abscission so what happened with auxin auxin always inhibit the abscission process while the ethylene always enhance or increase the abscission process so this is the concept general concept of abscission their general mechanism so i hope this is clear to all of you so thank you so much